In this video, we're going to talk about finding equations for the center of mass in between two curves, y equals f of x and y equals g of x, and locating x bar and y bar. So x bar is the moment of the tendency to go around the y-axis divided by the total mass, y bar, moment around some of the moments around the x divided by the total mass. And let's see how we do this. So first thing we want to come, let's come up with is the mass. And I'm going to do this with slicing. So here's my ith slice. And x sub i is somewhere in my ith slice. As always, it's going to have a width of delta x. So this notation may look a little bit interesting when we get into the subs, subs, but the mass of the ith slice. Let's talk about that first. Well, the mass of the ith slice is going to be the density at x sub i. Again, we're choosing that slice so small that we can assume the density is constant. This is if we have a varying density. We'll talk about if we don't at the end. So we have the density at that of that ith slice times the area of that ith slice. Well, that's going to be f of x sub i minus g of x sub i is the height of this rectangle times delta x. So there's the mass of the ith slice. Now, setting that up as a definite integral, we'll come over here. Then m is going to be the integral from a to b of rho of x times f of x minus g of x dx. And now, this is assuming that rho is a function of x, the density is a function of x. If it's not, you can pull it out of the integral and deal with it later. Okay, next up, m sub y sub i. So we're going to look at the moment, some of the moments on the, we're going to look at the moment on the ith slice, and then we'll generalize it to a definite integral very quickly. So that moment on the ith slice is going to be the mass, which we know times its distance from the axis. So the distance from the axis, the y-axis, is just x sub i. So it's going to be x sub i times m sub i. So we have, I'm going to put rho out front because sometimes that'll be constant and we can pull it out, times f of x sub i minus g of x sub i delta x. What that's going to do is that's going to allow me to write m sub y as a definite integral. a to b rho of x x times f of x minus g of x dx. Notice the only addition from m is that we had to put an x in there. And this is for finding x bar. I know there's a sub y in there because we're um, looking at rotating around the y axis. But notice that m sub y is part of finding x bar. Now, here's the one that's not quite as straightforward, and that's the one that I want to want to everybody to see. It's going to be very similar, except now, you know, this x sub i was this distance here. Well, the distance around to go around the x-axis is some y sub i. Okay, I'll talk about how we find that in a second. Y sub i, m sub i. So, what we're going to do to find y sub i is we're just going to average our two functions. So uh, let's just put a little note here. y sub i is going to be f of x sub i plus g of x sub i over 2. Very neat little trick. So it's still m sub i. And again, I'm going to write rho out front, rho of x sub i. Now normally here would be the y sub i, but I'm going to go ahead and make this substitution. f of x sub i plus g of x sub i over 2 times f of x sub i minus g of x sub i delta x. And missing a parenthesis. So I now have my m sub x. It's going to be the integral from a to b of rho of x. Now one of the things that we're going to do Notice here I've got f of x sub i plus g of x sub i times f of x sub i minus g of x sub i. 
that's a difference of squares. So I'm going to multiply these two together and we can move the one half, we can put it p of x over one half or we can move the one half out front. Uh, we just need to make sure that one half is in there. And now the way this will be written is f of x squared minus g of x squared dx. And there we have our equations for getting our centers of mass. Now, one thing you may notice right away, if the density is constant, because you're going to be doing the moment, the sum of the moments over the mass, the densities will cancel out. So a lot of times you won't necessarily see the density actually involved in finding the center of mass. It's more the shape of the plate that, that uh, determines the center of the mass if we have a constant density. If we have a density that depends on x, then we'll have it in here, which, as you can see, could make for a pretty complicated integral. So there's our formulas for finding center of mass, x bar, y bar, if we're looking at a region bounded by two curves.